Hey there, my name is Jason Gaddis, host of The Smart Couple. When I was an unavailable guy in my former life, I attracted a lot of women who were drawn to the mystery of my lack of openness. They wanted to crack the code of my heart, and I wasn't willing or able to let them in. I didn't know how. I didn't even know, actually, I was blocking them out or pushing them away. And guess what? The more I struggled inwardly in my own life, the more they came in and tried to help, which didn't help, right? It doesn't work. In fact, it drove me further away from them the more they tried to help. The women I dated were making the same mistakes a lot of women make. So right now I'm going to teach you one strange trick that you can do if you find yourself with an unavailable guy. A trick that's either going to dramatically improve your relationship with him or it's going to help you move on. It's really quite simple. More on that in a minute though. First, I want to do a little review. In my first video, which hopefully you watched, I talked about the big mistakes, the three big mistakes that most women make when they're with this guy, right? And in the first video, we talked about EHH, eh. E is expecting him to be different. H is hoping he's going to change, just hoping one day he'll get it together. And then the third H is helping him when he's not asking for it. More on that in that video if you want to go review it. So instead of doing EHH, here's what I would do instead if you are this woman, okay? It's a very helpful trick. So, and I think within even 24 hours you're going to see a shift. So take the attention off him, because that's where your attention is, and begin to focus on you, your life, your empowerment, and how amazing you are. Just do that simple thing, okay? I guarantee you, when you focus on your own self-care, self-love, and self-empowerment, he's going to do one of two things. He's either going to be inspired from within because he sees you on the move, like taking good care of yourself, or he's going to feel intimidated and shut down and collapse further into his own lack of self-worth. And both have benefits, right? You're either going to get your relationship back, or you're going to get clarity that this guy can't do it with you and you'll move on. It's helpful, right? It saves lots of time. You want out of this dynamic. You want to end this struggle. You want to stop betraying yourself and leaving yourself behind just for a couple of scraps of love. And you don't need to work that hard, frankly. So stop trying to fix him and get right with you, your path, and your life, and the amazing, awesome woman you are. It's that straightforward. And just because he's not paying attention to you has nothing to do with your beauty, your power, and your magnificence. It really doesn't. So long as you believe you're unlovable, though, you'll keep chasing an unavailable guy, trying to get that love, right? So see how the source is inside of you? So do the work to love and appreciate yourself more, and guys like this will stop being so interesting to you. They won't be, you, know, you won't be attracted to them. So this isn't about him. This struggle is about you. If you want to keep doing it your way by trying really hard to get him to love you and join you, then you can do that. But again, I think you've found that it's going to push him further away. So please don't do that. Instead, again, focus on you. That's the trick here. And it's going to help you every single time if you do the work from the inside out. Okay, so if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to do a free webinar on this, on the exact subject, and I'm going to teach you how to do this. Just click the link below. And it's probably going to save you lots of headaches and stress. And it's going to actually have your man feeling relieved because you're not going to be focused on him so much. So good luck, and we'll see you next time on The Smart Couple.